What's going on guys? In this video, I'm talking about some of the top reasons why you should be moving to Rochester, New York. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony. I'm with the American Home Team here in Rochester and Finger Lakes region. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday that I release a new video. And with that being said, as much as I love making these videos for you on all things Finger Lakes and Rochester living, I would love even more to help you with those real estate needs. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, be sure to reach out to that information at the bottom of your screen. I am the guy that answers those texts, emails, and phone calls. So. I'd be absolutely honored if you did reach out and uh, trusted me with the process in your move for you and your family or your family. And today is a sort of fun one. I'm talking about some of the top reasons why you should be moving to Rochester, New York. And this is contrary to some of the people in the comments, some of the people that moved away, some of the reviews I read in the last video. We're gonna kind of break some of those molds here, so let's get into it. All right, so first things first is we're talking about the cost of living, of course, right? Cost of living is one of the single most important reasons why somebody would move to an area because a, a lot of people, that's what they care about. Where, you know, how much money are they going to make and how far can that money take them? And so in Rochester, we are sitting roughly like 11 to 15 percent lower than the national average as far as cost of living overall. Groceries are going to be cheaper. Gas is going to be a little bit cheaper. Your housing is going to be cheaper, which means your rent as well is going to be cheaper. So normally what we're looking at here as far as housing prices, you know, it's still uh, it's not uncommon to find houses in the 150,000 range, right? It's anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000. There's still an abundance of those houses. Whereas many of the other cities rather in throughout the United States, you're hard pressed to find a house for 300,000 that's worth a damn, right? In the city of Rochester or the surrounding areas of Rochester, it's not hard pressed to find a house for 150,000 that is a nice house that doesn't require significant work. Um, maybe some cosmetic touches to make it appeal to your own personal kind of aesthetics, but overall, you know, structurally wise, it's not going to be terrible for the most part. Um, more, I think more average, we're looking at like 200 to 250,000. But like I said, there are plenty of houses for 150,000 um, that are great houses that can suit you and your family that, that personally I would put my family in. Um, which is a big deal. A lot of people reach out and say, you know, hey, what are some areas you would put your family in? Or what are some, you know, is this a house that you would put your family in? And a lot of these houses at the $150,000 range, I would say yes. Yes, I would. I'm very adamant about looking at, you know, for one mold, is it dry? Is it a mold free house? But then also like cracks in the foundation, things like that. If the foundation looks good to me, then you know everything else is manageable but if the foundation is crumbling or it's got massive cracks that you can see through and you can see daylight through basically then there's probably an issue there um so there are definitely houses in that 150,000 range that i would put my family in um and so you know a, a, a better cost of living just increases the quality of life because your money can get stretched further your money can take you a lot more places you can buy a lot more things uh rather than you know we we spend some time in denver colorado or you know out west uh, uh san diego california right your money is not going nearly as far so you know we've had some comments in the in the comment section on the channel saying that that in in california for example you know the same job that they uh had here is making them six figures whereas here it made them fifty thousand, right so they're making 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars more in California. But then the argument's like, yeah, well, how far is that taking you though? Because in order to even live out there, you need to make that amount. Whereas here, you can make that 50 thousand and you can afford a comfortable living as long as you're smart with your money and you know you're just fiscally responsible, I guess. But cost of living here is just so much cheaper. You're not going to rub the bank dry, if you will 
just by going out to eat at a restaurant like you would in some of these other major cities. So cost of living is absolutely the number one thing and number one reason why you should be moving to Rochester, New York. It's much cheaper than many other cities throughout the United States. For the second reason, we're gonna be talking about the job market here. Rochester has a, a fairly good job market, a fairly strong job market rather. And especially if you're in the healthcare field, if you're in technology, if you're in advanced manufacturing, or if you're in education, right? New York or the Rochester area is known for those things. With the University of Rochester, with RIT, the Rochester Institute of Technology, with L3 Harris and CareStream and some of these other large manufacturers, there are so many job opportunities if you work in those fields uh, specifically or anything that those companies offer, right? So it could be sales, it could be engineering, it could be literally anything, analytics or whatever. If there is a position at those companies doing whatever you do, you can probably get a job there getting decent pay. I will say the one thing I don't love about the job market here in Rochester is that in order to get a great job, a well-paying job, chances are you're going to need some sort of significant degree. You may need a master's degree, maybe even a doctorate degree for the, a lot of those higher position jobs. But in order to get something well-paying, you're probably going to need a higher degree or more experience, right? A lot of the time you go on Indeed or Monster or whatever these job sites are, and you'll find that the job ad may say something like, it's basically like a, a entry level job, but it'll also say three years of experience and a bachelor's degree. So is that really an entry level job? I don't know, I'd beg to differ, but the opportunities there are, are plentiful for you to get a job here in any of those spaces. And then not only that, but there's, you know, small mom and pa stores that love hiring young kids or, you know, high school kids or, you know, any really just anything that they need, they'll hire anybody. And a lot of those jobs don't necessarily require a resume. They just require character. If you're a person of good character, then they want you. They want you to work there because they know they'll do well for you. We have, you know, we're a growing tourist area. So hotels, condos, things like that, they always need great people who are friendly to guests and you know who can host a restaurant or can host the hotel or I guess I don't know the terms for them, but that can do a good job and please the customers when they're there, provide a, a pleasant experience while they're there. So the job market, you know, it it's growing, it's growing slowly, but it is growing nonetheless. And there are tons of opportunities if you have great qualifications. And even if you have okay or decent qualifications, you can still get a great job getting good pay at a lot of these companies here in Rochester, New York. Moving right along, we're talking about education here in the Rochester area. Guys, the Rochester area has some of the best schools throughout the United States. It's like the New York State education system. Well, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of public education in general. New York State is great in that, you know, they, they keep the student to teacher ratio fairly low so students can get that one on one time with the teacher because I know I needed that when I was coming through school. And the schools are, are bar none, anything from athletics to extracurricular activities and just the academics. It's just great. And they create amazing atmospheres, a lot of school pride around here, right? I went to Canandaigua Academy and Victor, Victor Central Schools were our school rivals. And you did not want to get in the way of that rival because I know in football, we went hard at each other. But then afterward, the schools kind of came together, shook hands and, you know, were cordial and everything like sportsmanship, you know, would, <laughs> would supposed to be like. And that's kind of how we did things. But while you're going at, while you're playing the game, you're super aggressive, you're super competitive because you have so much pride in your school and it's just while you're going, like here in Canandaigua, our colors are cherry and gray, red and gray, right? People here in Canandaigua bleed cherry and gray. They, it's just, they bleed cherry and gray. It's just, they're so proud of being here in Canandaigua. And that goes for Pittsford, that goes for Penfield or Menden or Brighton, right? It goes for all of the schools in the area 
everybody is super prideful of what school they go to and just the academics prove that right people are getting higher test scores they're testing better on the SATs and ACTs a uh, athletics are a little bit better and it's just it creates a great atmosphere for kids to go to school learn what they need to learn come home and be good citizens in the community good productive members of society right so if I'm moving somewhere and I'm bringing my family with kids and stuff education is something I'm looking at and Rochester New York has some of the best schools in the United States really and last but not least because of all of those factors I just talked about all the previous points we can kind of sum it up in that Rochester the Rochester area anytime I'm talking about Rochester I'm talking about the greater Rochester area so it's the surrounding communities around Center City Rochester right so Rochester is just a great family friendly uh, community it you know all of these aspects combined right it's a great mix between healthcare education uh, a thriving job market um, you know and and affordable cost of living just creates a great atmosphere to bring your family and the people here are really friendly it's you know the city of friendly neighbors 2.0 because buffalo is the city of friendly neighbors and rochester is right nearby within not even an hour drive so the city of friendly neighbors 2.0 the little sister of buffalo or little brother of buffalo whatever you want to call it but it is family friendly there's so much for the family to go out and do whether it's travel to the lakes whether it's lake ontario or canandaigua or honeyoy or skinny atlas or seneca or you know wherever or going to the strong national museum of play or any of the cultural museums or getting into music or photography with uh eastman kodak right uh being here in rochester with all the parks and playgrounds and literally everything that rochester has to offer points to it being a family friendly family oriented city and it's just an amazing place to bring your family you can never run out of things to do you're going to live fairly cheap here and you're going to have great education and great health care so you really can't go wrong i know some of the comments in the comment section are from people that hate the area you're going to get that in any city that you go to any area that you go to you could have the number one uh rated town in the united states and somebody multiple people are still going to post hateful reviews on that so Take all those with a grain of salt. Don't be reading through them thinking that that's gold because it's absolutely not. On this channel, I'm trying to tell you the truth, which there's some good, there's some bad, of course, right? Just like any city. So with that, guys, those are some of the top reasons why you should be moving to the Rochester area um, or the Finger Lakes area. That goes for the Finger Lakes area as well. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday that I release a new video. And as much as I love making these videos for you on all things living, eating, breathing, sleeping, playing in the Rochester and Finger Lakes region, I would love even more to help you with those real estate needs. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, reach out to that information that's at the bottom of your screen. I am the guy that answers those texts, emails, and phone calls, and I absolutely love helping you guys move here. So without further ado, guys, Hope you have a blessed week and a blessed weekend. Um, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.